Come on, why? How about not casually revealing your face for everyone to see? At least put the hood over your head. The wanted poster was gonna be like this. And now it's gonna be like this. Good job. Though to be fair, this is a realistic instinctual reaction, showcasing some healthy empathy. At least no one got killed. Point for that. You are currently at solid zero points. Since I've gotten on the roll of... Rolling my eyes, it's only fitting to take a closer gander at one of the elements of this show that I have the most consistent issues with, that being the action. Now as a whole, the production of the fight scenes and the like is pristine, just like the rest of the show. The scenarios and choreography are all inventive, the directing, the animation, all the different angles, the correct accentuating use of slow motion, the superb sound design, it's all snappy, energetic, really selling the motion and impact of every second, it pulls me into the moment, the action is exciting, it's a spectacle to watch, it is entertaining, if I had my way, I would demand that every show, animated and live action, had this level of style and dynamism. But as always, my main problem is obviously not with the production, but rather the story, the actual happenings on screen. And in this sense, the show fares less than ideally. Arcane suffers from the same issues as most every story ever created when it comes to action. The I want this thing to happen now, itis. Or as it is also known, the but it's cool though, syndrome. Almost every action scene has at least one thing that makes absolutely no sense if you stop to think about it for more than a second. The author prioritizes the spectacle and excitement at the expense of logical story flow, world building, and even in worst cases, characterization. And I'm not talking about things like cartoony physics or fantastical weaponry, I'm talking about actual farts of logic, as in... People don't do that. No one is this stupid. Reality doesn't work like that. That is literally impossible. This is a common trend, and it's becoming ever more popular, as many of these problems actually stem from people blindly repeating the same mistakes, because they have already become tropes, because they have been repeated so often, and no one calls them out. To be clear, Arcane is not the worst offender, it's not even close, but these issues still exist, and I would be amiss not to point them out. I will qualify exactly what I mean as we get to each individual scene, but for now, as a taste of the kind of stuff that makes me wince in frustration, and as outside examples, I point you to this classic piece of dumbassery from Winter Soldier. Shoot him in the legs, point your gun down, you can kill him if you move the goddamn barrel down just a tad, you moron. <coughs> and how about this insanity from the Book of Poopa Feet? How are any of you alive? You just shot a missile from point blank range. How stupid can you be? And why are these assassins using cattle prods instead of blasters? The most common weapon in all the galaxy. You have him surrounded, just shoot him. And the electricity doesn't even do anything. These weapons are useless. This was written by adults. This scenario is something a child comes up with on the fly back in the 80s while fiddling with their action figures. Look at this lameness. This fight is laughable. Everyone here is trying to kill each other, and it looks like a bunch of LARPers playing with sticks. Honestly, Poopa Feet was the dumbest shit Disney ever shut out with the Star Wars moniker slapped on. And this is not even the worst of it. What the fuck is that? <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> Every single second of this show was a mistake. 
Now let's examine the chase between the teen rogues and the local police. The very first instance of thrilling action in Arcane. And it's also the worst offering. From the start, the scene utterly fumbles the show's own logic. Couldn't we have at least just walked there? Gotta stay out of sight for this one. So here we have an established rule, a fact. The kids need to stay out of sight. They stick out like a sore thumb from the ritzy folk. They don't want anything to connect them to the robbery. No witnesses. Okay, sure, makes sense. So logically, after pilfering the riches, the escape plan must have been to return home the exact same way they arrived, right? After all, the kids aren't going to come off any less suspicious carrying their loot. Everyone following so far? So why the hell do we immediately cut from the balcony to the gang running through the streets? Why didn't they use the obvious original plan and escape across the rooftops? The streets are crawling with enforcers as we were shown literally 10 seconds ago. This makes no sense. The kids are purposefully picking the worst possible escape route. There's no one on the roofs. It's the safe option. The street level is only leaving them exposed. Now there is an easy way to fix this. Have it so that the kids do scamper away across the roofs. Then have one of those blimps show up, drop down a group of enforcers, which forces the kids to retreat down to the street level. This way we establish logical cause and effect. And we get another neat set piece to the action scene, making the entire sequence more dynamic, with the balance of power shifting. So the initial setup is bonked, but that's not the big issue here. The major problem with this scene is the fact that these trained, adult, peacekeeper troops are somehow unable to catch up to a bunch of kids running down a straight path. The kids aren't dashing through a crowd, they don't make sharp turns, they are completely exposed, hauling a bunch of metal. They move as a group, to the pace of the slowest member, a preteen, this heavyset fellow, take your pick. And still, they somehow manage to outrun the enforcers. Not only that, but they also get to style on them but grinding along rails, making wrong turns, and still escape. The enforcers can't even touch them. And to top it all off, the trained police force can't aim for shit. The kids don't dodge these bolas, the enforcers straight up miss. Every. Single. One. Bull. Shit. This level of plot armor is impossible to ignore. I can't take this seriously. This is farcical. All that's missing is the Benny Hill music. And what's even more baffling is that the ending stretch of the chase is noticeably better. Narrow paths, obstacles, maze-like alleys. A convenient escape down a waste pipe. The kids manage to lose the pursuers on their home turf. This part makes vastly more sense. But it's too little, too late. The rest of this doesn't follow any kind of acceptable logic. But I hear you ask, why does this matter exactly? If the ending result is the same either way, if the script states that the kids do in fact escape, then why does it matter how we get to the end result? Well, for the simple reason that I would like to take this seriously. Not selectively, not when the storytellers feel like it. I want to take this seriously, period. This is not made for children. This is not some silly empowerment fantasy for adolescents where little kids can take on more powerful and experienced adults and somehow win. This is written for adults. Arcane wants to tell an adult story with grey societal and psychological themes, with bloody violence and profanity and political intrigue and a full-on sex scene. 
This is not made for children. There is no reason to accommodate a childish fantasy like this. And even regardless of that, no matter who the target audience is, I want stories to make sense. Because if we open the door to illogical story developments, then nothing matters. Fuck it, do whatever you want. Why do the kids need to run at all? Let's have it so that Vi beats up a dozen grown men with her bare fists. Or better yet, how about she suddenly manifests laser vision and just vaporizes everyone? Why not at this point, since logic matters none? No, that's not how any of this works. That can't be how storytelling works. We can't call the things that work good if we are not willing to criticize clear convenience and lazy storytelling as bad. If you don't have standards, then praise coming from you means nothing. Personally, my standard is based on logical cause and effect. The nature of the characters, the things they can and would do, as well as the cohesion of the world, what is possible within this fictional place. And this mess of an action scene does damage the world and narrative of Arcane. The show wants to create a story where the undercity of Piltover is historically oppressed by the top side, using military force to keep them under their thumb. But for that narrative to be believable, you can't show the same military being a bunch of bumbling Looney Tunes. <coughs> How are these numbskulls oppressing anyone? How are these people a threat? You cannot claim that your antagonistic force is dangerous and menacing, and have them be incompetent at the same time. To survive this kind of situation, the kids should be forced to do something amazing, something out of the box, something that justifies how they manage to escape. Not just run in a straight line from more athletic people and expect the audience to buy it. It is not my job as the audience to just accept whatever idiocy is happening on screen. It is literally the writer's job to justify the developments in their own story. Now to be fair, I don't believe that this scene alone immediately destroys the entire story the show is going for. There's plenty more elements and scenes to come that bolster the story. But this scene in isolation is a mess and frankly embarrassing. Alrighty, with all that negativity behind us, time to get back to the things Arcane excels at. And as always, a massive thanks to each of you for sticking around for this long. And a special thanks goes to all the supporters on Patreon, as well as an extra special thanks to my 10 euro supporters, Wyland, Jesaja Vanderwatt, and Six Stars. If you would like to join these fine people, or check out any of my other creative stuff, all the links are down below. Take care everyone, and I'll see you all in the next one.